How to close more deals. I will tell you in one second, but first this episode is brought to you by Rocket Mortgage. I don't know if you guys realize this, but owning your own home is much easier than you might think. If you reach out to Rocket Mortgage, they can help you out with an FHA loan in which you only have to put down three and a half percent as opposed to 20%, you know? So Rocket Mortgage makes the home buying process extremely easy and I 100% recommend them. I have a mortgage with Rocket Mortgage and if you're considering buying a house, go with Rocket Mortgage instead of your own bank. I promise you it's worth it. And this episode is also brought to you by Tesla. I don't know if you guys realize this, but they are leading the game in automotive and energy, okay? And they offer something that other solar manufacturers don't offer, they offer Tesla shingles, which is freaking a badass solution for paying for energy, you know? Uh, and not just that, you know, electric car is part of the solution and you'd be surprised. They're actually much more affordable than you realized, you know? So definitely before you purchase your next vehicle, go with Tesla, at least test drive one and then you will be sold 100%. Okay, how to close more deals, all right? So I guess I'll talk a little bit about sales. All right, so, <clears throat> I know I've mentioned in the past the golden hours, you know, eight to five, that's when everyone's working. And one thing that I recommend not doing is don't make calls in the morning. Use the morning to get warmed up, you know, talking to people, get used to talking because you don't want to make like your first couple calls, you know, you're kind of rusty, you know, but after you make some calls, you get loose. I'll say that. But so get loose before you start hitting the phones, spend the mornings to prepare as far as proposals, as far as updating your CRM, doing things like that, sending emails. Uh, I recommend not hitting the phones till maybe 10 because that's when everyone's kind of settled into their office and you don't want to call people because having making a call at the wrong time can have the opposite effect. It can make people not want to work with you at all. So call at appropriate hours. I recommend where I've had the most luck is calling between 12 and one while everyone's at lunch for some reason, I don't know why, but I, I I don't usually take lunch breaks, but from 12 to one, when I was in commercial sales in Tallahassee, I would hit the phones every day from 12 to one, and I would probably schedule 10 appointments a week from hitting the phones to 12 to one. And then also from four to five, and I say that because four to five is the end of the day, everyone's in a good mood, they're watching the clock, ready to get home, you're about, about to get off work, so they're in a good mood, you know? And they're usually done working for the day, bullshitting on YouTube, doing something like that, and it, 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 they're sweet, you know, the gatekeepers are sweet to get past, uh, and it's easy to set appointments, you know? And uh, so yeah, you know, hit the phones at the appropriate hours. Uh, and 100%, you know, uh, you know, like in-person meetings, you know, obviously it's a lot easier for someone to be a dick over the phone as it is to your face. But I will say this, like you can cover so much more ground on the phones as opposed to, face-to-face -face meetings, you know, obviously face-to-face -face meetings are great, but you know, if you're trying to, the more outreach you have, the more potential there is to close deals, 100%. So I mean, it depends on what industry it is, but you know, it's a psychology game. So do things, you know, put that into your sales strategy, 100%, okay? Um, a couple other tips I'll say is, identify pain points, you know, you don't want to be too fast to sell. Like you don't want to sell on an initial phone call. Like one of my old scripts that I used to use to set appointments is I'd be like, Hey, this is Adam. I'm with so-and-so company. And I was calling, I was just going to see if I could come by, introduce myself and drop off a business card. And so you have my information and you know, they might not be happy about that, but it's hard for them to say no if you're just trying to come by and drop off a business card and then they're expecting you at a set time and you come in and then you can start spitting game at them and then you know they'll be like all right we like this guy we, we'll, we'll hear what he has to say we'll consider doing business with him you know so put some strategy into it you know put together a script that you kind of stick to when it comes to setting appointments um you never want to try to sell over the phone ever um so I know that's hard for like people that are trying to raise money and stuff, but like that's not a good strategy to try to sell your product or service over the phone. It's just not, you want to set appointments. Um, so people have a face, you know, instead of just some random phone call, you know, and then I will say this, you know, emails are all right, you know, but they, I feel like if you're email, hit, like hitting emails instead of hitting the phone, that's procrastinating if you're in sales. Um, it, it just is, you know, emails are a horrible strategy for selling something, you know, 100%, you know, um, and you never want to sell too fast. Like even when you're in person, you want to identify people, you want to get to know them, 
see how their business operates, you know, and identify their pain points and their goals, you know, this, like, once you get on, like, take the time to get to know people and know their business, and then that will allow you to put together an effective solution that will benefit them as instead of just like, okay, yeah, this is what you need. This is what, you know, you know, like that's not a good way to do it, you know? And the more time you spend getting to know them, the more they will appreciate you and the more they will get to know you and like you, you know? So take the time to identify their needs, you know, so that you can put together the best possible solution for them. You know, I know a lot of salespeople are eager, eager to make a sale, but like actually putting together a customized solution because when you take the time, you know, like that's something a lot of competitors of yours will not do. You know, they'll say, this is what you need, you know, and this will allow you to put together something that stands out against your competitors. You know, whether you're the lowest price or the highest price, if it's the best solution, a lot of times you'll win the deal 100%, you know, and uh, like I said, you know, also like the more phone calls you make, the more outreach you're going to have and ultimately the more deals you're going to close. You know, I know hitting the phones is not a fun job. I mean, I don't really mind it. Um. But the more people you reach out to, the more meetings you're gonna be in, and ultimately the more meetings you're in, the more proposals you're gonna pr present, and the more proposals you present, the more deals you're gonna close, and the more money you're gonna make. So that's the name of the game, you know? Other than that, another uh, stra like, uh, strategy that I'll tell you guys about that I've used in the past that's very effective is when you're hitting the phones, I used to have put a mirror in front of my desk so that I could watch myself when I was on the phone. and. What this does is a lot of people that are hitting the phones are in a shitty fucking mood because they don't feel like hitting the phones, you know? So they're not in a real good mood and they have a shitty job setting, They, you know, they don't do good as far as setting appointments, you know? But if you're on the phones and you're smiling and in a good mood, that reflects to the person on the other end of the phone call and it ultimately leads to setting more appointments, okay? You know, so like if you watch yourself and you're smiling and you're happy, that energy feeds off to your prospect and it will have a huge positive impact on your appointment setting, you know? So 100% make sure, like, pay attention to how you feel and make sure that you're smiling and in a good mood because that will lead to more appointments, 100%, you know? Uh, other than that, I guess I will uh, cut it off there. I've got more sales stuff, but I, I guess I, th I feel like everybody probably wants to know where I'm at with everything. Okay, so Southeast Marketing, we are doing good. We've uh, reached out to a shitload of companies, multiple industries, nonprofits, vets offices, uh, insurance companies, construction companies, um, as far as, and also our original email campaign that included like a shit ton of people. Um, and cleaning services, pest control, you know, you name it, we've been reaching out to them. And uh, no one's applied yet for some reason, but I feel like, cause I, I in the, in the uh, webpage, I put like the more references that you can include. I, so I feel like right now people are most likely working to find references to include in their application, which I think is positive. Uh, we have also reached out to some hotels and to some uh, churches, you know, so I'm hoping what I'm kind of wanting to do as far as strategy for meeting is have like a different meeting place, like once a month, you know, uh, some at hotels, some at churches, you know, different places like that. I feel like that'd be pretty cool, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, but other than that, you know, we're making progress, you know, um, hitting the phones, you know, getting a lot of outreach, you know, and the worst comes worse, you know, like that's helping the companies that we're promoting right now because it's uh, solid SEO views. For, I mean, like search ranking views for like 100%, you know, so like there's a plus and a negative to it. Um, and I told you all it was brought to you by Rocket Mortgage. I was going to extend you guys. Per, I know I gave you guys that quote. and I was going to extend it um, for another week at least, you know, just because... Right now, we haven't found people in the group yet, so I'm just gonna keep promoting you guys, you know, just looking out, good business. Um, other than that, I uh, haven't heard anything back on the lawsuit yet, um, but I'm sure it's gonna be coming soon because I think they have like two weeks. Um, I've got the solar lawsuit, which I feel extremely excited about. Um, I know it's gonna work out, you know. Um, and then the other one uh, in the federal courts, I uh, haven't heard anything back yet. If I don't hear anything back soon, I'm going to have to go by the courthouse downtown at the district office and at least find out like what my case number is because I haven't got my case number or anything like that. Um, but everything's falling into place, you know, it was working hard and things are going to fall into place, you know. Um, other than that, almost 10 minutes. So remember that I love you and that you can be what you will to be.